goes up and smoke and Clay Milliken goes to the top. Hey folks, welcome back to another Parts Plus Motorsports Moment. Today we're going to talk about preparing clutch discs to make a run in the Parts Plus Top Fuel Dragster. Austin here cuts our disc, prepares our disc, gets them ready to go, and Austin is about to show us and tell us everything he does to get clutch disc ready for the Parts Plus Top Fuel car. So what I do first is I'll obviously set it up. We got a flywheel bolted up to it right now. I'll put the four ARP bolts right into it just to hold it down to its plate. And then that'll keep this, the flywheel itself level. And then I lower it down a little bit just to where it's above and still spinning. I'll turn our machine on and I just let it go. And as I'm grinding, I'll watch it to make sure that it wants to cut at an even rate. Sometimes I'll miss some like this on the first cut or so, but once I go down a little more, it'll start picking those ones up. tries to do here. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning this surface up so then I'm not messing up. So once we go up, this isn't a slick surface. It's still able to grab and it's able to grab onto the clutch disc and floaters itself and actually turn the clutch to make us make those 330 mile an hour runs. How often do you have to do this? Every flywheel and every disc gets cut after one run. After one run and then our flywheels usually last a weekend with our face or a season with the facings being as good as they are. A clutch disc can run usually three runs, three to four runs. And I'll go down. And what I look for is I look for these the old marks on it. I look for them to get a little small, which they're getting right there. And then I'll just bring it up very slowly. And I'll grind all the birds off of it. Unbolt it and that flywheel is ready for the weekend. 